when they see a black person walking in, they would be like, "Hey, where someone are you going? who looks like a Gambian." Yes, they would be like, "What are you going?" Yeah. Even in Senegambia, where yeah. the checkpoint is, mm -hmm. if you are to go in, they would be like, "Hey, where are you going?" But if a white person walks past, they will not. They will not. They won't even anything. question them. They will not question them. Like even uh, us as Gambians, what we have, what we own, you know what I'm saying? Like to even enjoy that, they would give you know um, Europeans the privilege onto what we own more than ourselves that's yeah. kind of like we are still we say you know the slavery is over but it's yes. mentally the slavery is still there the colonized and slave mentality is still, it's still there. there and i'm saying we cannot we cannot enjoy or have the privilege of what you know the nature that we have mm -hmm. you be my queen you be my skin saver i'll be a king no be cinema diamond mineral situation critical you be my queen you be my screen saver I'll be a king, no be cinema, diamond, mineral, situation critical, sun kiss your body glitter, glitter. Hey guys, I'm Risha. I'm Abraham, and, and we're, we're the Mandinka, Mandinka family. family. And today we are going to take you guys on a tour of where we're staying at a Gambian owned business, Some Prime Tamalas. All right, guys, so uh, this right here, what you're looking at now is the lobby. We're gonna show you the night view because we just checked in, so uh, we'll show you the lobby during the daytime. They do offer free continental breakfast from 7.30 to 10.30 in the morning, and uh, we'll take you in there in the morning uh, to see what they have to offer, so. All right, guys, you know, this is the view. This is the view right when you come in to the entrance through the entrance through the uh, lobby area you see this pool straight Let's ahead pool. and um, over there you have the restaurant it's the restaurant and on the left and right side here those are the hotel rooms we'll show you the amenities tomorrow that they offer yeah. we just want to let you guys see how it looks at night um, each room that is facing either the ocean or the pool has their own private pool so um it's really nice and it lights up at night so yeah and these you know uh, the hotel is owned by gambian you know who yeah. employs many gambians here mm -hmm. he employs about you know i would say more than 500 gambians to right. work for them and which i used to be part of you know those that you know where, where I used to work for them, you know, has a plumber, you know, or at the a sister hotel named Balafon. You know, he has about, uh, he has Balafon, Jembe, Jaliba, you know, Kalimba, and um, Tamala, which is where we are right now. We are at Tamala right now. So this is how it looks at night. Mm -hmm. See, each room has their individual pool area, mm -hmm. but then you do have your common pool area the blue pool over here where everybody goes if they don't have their own private pool yeah like if you're upstairs if you're on the second floor you won't have your own pool obviously so yeah this is how nice it looks at night um on sundays they have uh they offer a buffet buffet and live music so tomorrow's sunday so we're going to check that out Now, you, you said uh, you used to work here, babe? Yeah, I used to work on the, the same management as a plumber, by, uh, with our boss being um, um, Boyjola, who is from Gunju, a native from Gunju. You know, I call him, you know, my Jola man. <laughs> he's, the, he's the main boss, you know, under the, uh, the plumbers here, whom I used to work with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so as you can see, it looks, you know, really nice. We just want to let you guys see the night view. Uh, but we're headed to our room, so stay tuned. So, guys, this is uh, the hallway to our room. It's very peaceful. Quiet and beautiful. Mm hmm Now, guys, they, they do offer uh, three types of uh, rooms. They offer a garden view, 
which uh, I don't believe it's like a pool. It's not a pool view. You don't get to see the pool, it, but it's still you still have a nice view of the trees and you know garden and stuff like that. But you have the garden view, which is uh, the the cheapest, and then uh, you have the pool view, and then you have a panoramic suite with the ocean view, which is what we got. All right, guys. Now, if you live on the second floor, this is the stairs you know you would use to go onto your rooms. stand up there just to show them. all right guys I'm gonna take you along to if you live on the upstairs you know this will lead you upstairs all right these are the rooms upstairs you have the view that's the, you have the garden here all right guys so one thing that I do appreciate is that um, the signs are user-friendly uh, it's very easy to read it tells you you know where you you know keep straight ahead for the restaurant for the reception for the gym fitness you can head straight this way down along this path and if you go further, there's other signs as well. It's well lit up uh, at nighttime, as you can see. You know, here we are. Welcome to our crib. Ooh. Oh. All right, guys. So yeah, we're we're here. Welcome to our crib for the time being. Um, I like these lights. And just press it you know that's something new um, you have a full body mirror right here so you can see me and my baby looking good can, can they see us mm -hmm. can they see my boo you can see my way to the door kid then uh, right when you come in um, you have your little um, I would say your storage area. They have like cubby holes where you can put your stuff. You can have a little mini closet, a built-in closet right here. Excuse all of our stuff we haven't unpacked yet. But uh, yeah, these are the cubby holes. So you, and it get in, you have plenty of space. So it's definitely nice. Uh, you got your refrigerator, make some coffee in the morning. And this is the remote to control the air condition up here. Now, I like this. I like how this is set up. You have your walk-in shower. Show them how beautiful it looks in there. You have your telephone shower and you have your main shower head up here. And it's enough to fit two people. Mm -hmm. That's your sink. Now, this is what I like. They they close the toilet off by itself. So you can close the door, take a shit, close that shit out. So, got the, the bathroom in here. In the rooms here you have you know a very, very beautiful arts in here which you know it's definitely it very skewed there <laughs> amazing you can hang your um you can hang your stuff out here mm -hmm. um how would you baby you know we're here you can you know just put your stuff around here like park your arts walk here we just came you know so we just put our stuff in here. you know that's you know <laughs> oh that look good. Where the magic happens. <clears throat> you said it, baby. <laughs> you said it. On the top nets, you know, you know, it's really cute how they put it, it is. all over. Yeah. And there, yeah, there are tables are made of boards. 
Like yeah, I like the little wood theme because, yeah, like, even the building has it's made out of wood. Yeah, it's made out of wood. We're just looking at And that's nice. You got a little light. Press that button. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll press press the other one. See, you got a little light right above mm -hmm. the bed. You want to yeah. read a book at night or something? That's what's up. Yeah. It's like the little nightstand that's made out of wood. It looked like a tree trunk. It's like a tree it. trunk, yeah. Okay. Which is really beautiful, you know? Yeah. Very creative. You know, I mean, you have, you know, here also you have a very beautiful art. Mm -hmm. so you know, around here. You, know, you can just sit here. This is like the living room yeah. area. Yeah, I watch your TV. You know what I'm saying? And guys, now we will take you to um, the pool where you can have the view of the... And they have the uh, smart TV, so you could download like Netflix or whatever. Yeah, they have, have the local news, it seems like. Here. Oh, yeah. You can make a call to the reception. Yeah, you can call. They have room service here. Um, and uh, yeah, they have room service. So you can call the front desk if you need something, or there's a specific number they give you for room service. If you don't want to like walk to the restaurant, they'll deliver the food to you. All right, guys, now we are going to take you to our awesome view pool area. All right. As you can see, most, most of the things here are definitely out of, you know, woods. You know, very creative artwork, you know. Mm -hmm. It's made out of wood. Uh, they are all made out of wood. You, know, you can come here and chill. Sit right here, you know. My baby you know, uh, will come and sit with me here. We just enjoy the view. Mm -hmm. From the sea, the breeze is amazing. It is. You know, all these mini tables are made out of wood. You got your beach chairs, two beach yeah, chairs for you and your chairs. honey. And the pool, you have your pool here, which is about um, 130. 130, I think, centimeters. Yeah, 130 centimeters. And this how uh, this is your private pool. So this is your own private pool area. You don't have to you share know, with come anyone. Inside, you know, hook yourself yeah, you in. Just get on the steps and get in. And straight ahead is the ocean, which we are going to show you right the day there. view of everything. You can't see it at night, but you can surely hear it. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. See, uh, this is the next doors of. Um, steps in their own private pool area you see how it's all lit up at night and the pool you know it changes colors you know which is definitely beautiful over there you can see it um like the colors are changing mm -hmm. so all right guys so um we wanted to show you how like everything looks at night like we said but mm -hmm. uh stay tuned we're going to show you the daytime view and we're going to show you all of the amenities they have to offer okay stay tuned see you guys Tomorrow. All right, guys. You know we are in the uh, restaurant taking the free breakfast meal. As you can see, my wife, my mama is you know, trying to stop herself. Yes, ma'am. That's mushrooms? Yeah. We got some potatoes and mushrooms. Those are beans? Yep. Some local baked beans and some regular beans. Uh, these are baked beans and local beans. I know you want some of this. No, give me the other one. The other one? Yeah. You don't want this one? Mm. Oh, 
That's up, man. Over there, bro. Yeah, let's see what they got over there. So they have orange juice, water, that's orange juice, water, apple juice, come on, apple juice, biogo juice. juice. They have some bananas. They have the bay over here, that's the actual bay over. Um, you have the bananas, juice. some papaya. Come on, I need this, some of this. Okay. I'll put it on here. Where's one? Let's get another plate. Let me get another plate. What you gonna get? I'm gonna get an apple. Ioba? Apple. Huh? I'm apple? Getting, yeah. I got my babe on the apple juice kick. <laughs> So this is our table right here. Um, I need some big table. Um, okay. So you want some more fruits, some watermelon, and I think cucumbers, cucumbers. Oh, and over here they have some rolls, like they have some bread, some bread and coffee over on this section. Oh, look, they got the mask set up over here. You want to explain some of the breads? Some of these are local breads. Some of these are like regular breads. Oh, you like tomatoes? Their, their breakfast is way better than Messi Hotel. Actually, the best breakfast out of I've seen in Gambia honestly some local some croissants some they have some cheese oh they have some oats here like some cereal uh, the coffee and tea over here okay guys so as you can see the kitchen is kind of like back there when they make the food it looks really clean from what we can see um, here is the kitchen you can you can walk up here and order your omelet or a, you can't they make the pancake for you babe you know what that is you know what that is yeah it look like the little pancake balls that they make here but the lady down there is getting an omelet and that's what we're probably going to order so yeah this is really nice as you can see it's really nice and clean they keep it clean yeah the kitchen is really clean neat, very neat all the issues yeah. mm -hmm. the set up everything yeah all right guys you know we're here you know we're having our breakfast you know the, the breakfast how do you see the breakfast this is the best breakfast in the Gambia that I've that I've had so far out of all the places I've stayed okay. that offers continental breakfast, free breakfast in the morning. Tamala has it. Yeah, I, I love them. Them potatoes. My mama had to add some potatoes in there. She had already given. I love these potatoes. Um, she had some this is my second plate. More. Second plate. All right, guys. Now stay tuned for more updates. Alright guys, so earlier you guys got to see um, 
the breakfast the breakfast we had this morning the different options tamala sun prime has across the street is some some beautiful looking trees just some beautiful nature over here i just wanted to capture it looks like a lot of trees have been torn down so i'm pretty sure they're going to try to develop something here soon then as you turn this is the entrance to tamala all right guys you know like we um view we have shown you last night uh, the the night view of tamala some prime mm -hmm. now we uh we are having the afternoon or evening view of it we will be showing you like you know all the amenities that they do have here and stuff that they you know gave to people the breakfast you know and everything they got the restaurants out here and you know all the other amenities that they do have here we will definitely update you and show you everything that they got out here the gyms and other stuff like spas Kiyama. yeah that's the lobby yeah and there you can the restroom here the lobby area where you can chill and relax this is also the uh, way that you can get to the um, restaurant kitchen. a restaurant in the kitchen you have the restaurant there and you have the a breakfast ahead where you can use it. they got another lounge area out here from the outside now um, when you turn to the left as you come in um, there's a gym so let's go to the gym. There's a pool table here, Mama. Where? I'm gonna whoop your ass later. No. Oh, it's a tennis table, bro. Sorry. You can play tennis? Yeah, I'll whoop oh. your ass. Oh, nigga, I'm trying to tell me you're gonna whoop my ass. I'm gonna whoop that ass, though. Wait, so we're gonna head to the gym? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna show them the gym. The door's open. Yep. So. All right, guys, now we are heading in the gym to see what's up in there. Well, they, that's the gym here. They have what? a treadmill. They have a treadmill. Have multiple treadmills. Yep. You have the, the bowl here. Work out the legs. Got some uh, weight stuff there. You gonna show them how this works? Yeah, this is they for soldiers. Show them how this works right here. Oh. Hold on, you gotta come close a little bit. All right, this is this. I believe is for soldiers, solo workouts. That's for solo workouts. Here you can do your triceps, or you can do other back workouts like triceps, like, or you can do like you know some over some form of back trainings, like put some here and then go on the floor like this. Those you can walk on your labs with it. Right here too. You know, you can walk on your labs here. And here too, you can um, sit here. You know, walk on your back. You gotta make it, um, you can switch it through here. And see what you can pull. All right, here, guys. Um, they have the plates in here. They have the they have the kettles here, as you can see, in different sizes. They have the mirror here. Guys, here they offer games here. You can play pool table. You can say Bobby, we call it. Yeah.
guys, this is the, you know, the pools, you know, by the rooms. So last night you guys saw how it lit up at night, but now... That's the view is... in the evening. All right, so here's the um, big pool in the daytime. So at night you saw that this was lit up as well. Set up here. Like a, they got a smoking area. Yeah. So now, um, as you can see over here, that's the restaurant. We're, we're gonna head up over here and just show you how it kind of looks inside. One thing about Sun Prime Tamala is that you uh, cannot have any guests here. And if you, like, they can't come to your room. But if you do have guests, you guys can only go to the restaurant we're about to head to. So that means you gotta pay for something to eat or something to drink. So take a look. They got some alcohol. I guess this is the other this is the front side to the sea the of the, yeah the beach side of the restaurant we're gonna take a little tour here the sand is nice and soft they, mm -hmm. they got some horses over there ready for you to ride mm -hmm. All right, in a way, guys, in a way, I hid it into our room. This is how it looks during the daytime. This is how it looks in the daytime, you guys saw. Last night, how it looked, the lights up here were on. But since it's, it's light outside, you can, um, you know, you can clearly see. Everything's user-friendly, so you can see, you know, what room number you need to go to. And if you need to know what direction, this will tell you. This will tell you where you need to head right here. So yeah, everything's user friendly. It's the signs are easy to read. And it says no smoking. If you smoke in here, it's a 1500 Delasi fee. So no smoking. Another thing I wanna show you guys, come here. Is the security feature that they have. I like this security feature, you guys. Look. Hold on. When it beeps, hold on. Just keep it. Walk away from it and see. Okay. So guys, I like this security feature. 
This will beep all night and it's to let you know that the door is not closed all the way. So, I closed it all the way. Now the sound is off. That's a good security feature here. Um, you guys pretty much seen the tour last night. Looks the same. I just want to show you guys the patio. How the patio looks in the daytime. Because you know at night, you guys saw that uh, the private pool was so now you get to see it in the daytime. And this is our own private balcony. So we don't want to be around all those people. We we'll just chill here. And then we can swim right over and walk on to the beach. Now today's Sunday, so as you can see over there, there's a lot of people out on the beach on Sundays. There's a little uh, tennis racket over here. I want to beat my baby some tennis. Yeah, guys, this is nice. All right, guys. So, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed, like, the day, uh, the night versus day tour of some prime Tamala Hotel. Uh, there's been some concerns that's been messing with both of us. You know, um, it's, like, on three occasions. Like, the first time was, like, last night um last night when we were just walking around like doing do, uh, doing the tour um there was some guy that worked here who i said hey to and he looked like like you don't belong here he didn't even say hey back you know and he was probably looking at us like oh they're probably trying to just be nice because they don't belong here or something he was just looking at us weird he didn't even say hey back or nothing and then um when my husband, uh, when we first checked in, you know, um, there, there was a black girl yesterday. Mm -hmm. And what'd she say to you? Yeah, she says to me, hey, where are you going? And I just showed her my card. Yeah, he had to show her the card, uh, the key with our number, room number on it. And yeah, the problem, the, like the problem, not just, you know, here, the problem with most um, in um, tourist areas here, when they see a black person walking in, they'll be like, hey, where Someone are you going? who looks like a Gambian. Yes, they'll be like, where are you going? Yeah. Even in Senegambia, where yeah. the checkpoint is, mm -hmm. if you are to go in, they will be like, hey, where are you going? But if a white person walks past, they will not They, will not they won't even anything. question them. They will not question them. Like, even uh, us as Gambians, what we have, what we own, you know what I'm saying? Like, to even enjoy that, they will give, you know, um, Europeans the privilege onto what we own more than ourselves that's yeah. kind of like we are still we say you know the slavery is over but it's mentally it's, the slavery is still there the colonized and slave mentality is still, it's still there there and i'm saying we cannot we cannot enjoy or have the privilege of what you know the nature that we have mm -hmm. and this is it's really sad because this is a gambian owned hotel but you know we want to keep it real with you guys this is a very nice hotel the whole environment is very nice it sits right on the beach but that mentality, um, that mentality that I see in some workers here, I do not like. Um, and I think that the owner needs to kind of have like a team meeting in and explain because their, their security is pretty good. So that when you come in, the security is already going to ask you, hey, where are you hit it? Are you dropping off? That's another thing. We just got here. Yeah, we just got yeah. back to the hotel. And what did the guy yeah. say to you when we were coming are you in? Dropping? He thought he thought he was dropping me off because he knew he was a Gambian. He's like, oh, you're dropping her off. But it's like he's like, no, I'm staying here, too. You know, so it's just like an assumption like, oh, he doesn't. It's like a you don't belong here type of thing. And I, yeah, I can feel yeah, it. Yeah. And like, you know, I try to be patient with them to not be rude. Thank you.